Uh, measuring customer experience is, is something that I struggle and at the same time find very fascinating <laughs> uh, every day. So I think uh, a lot of the organizations are talking about NPS and how good that is. And there are a lot of studies saying, you know, good NPS correlates with, with good, uh, for example, stock value and, and all of that. That's fine. Uh, but NPS, for example, is for me, is not very operational metric or, or a measure. So I think I would approach measuring customer experience in, in three different levels. First of all, you have the everyday contacts or, or uh, with your customers, which is happening on, on, on the touch point level. Then you have probably a task or a need which, 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 is, which has multiple touch points and multiple um, different views with, from the customer point of view, meaning that we talk about customer journeys in, in many times like that. And then the, the, the top level is, is on a brand level, so how your company or your organization is pre perceived from a customer experience point of view. And you need different metrics on each of these levels. And what are the good metrics? I don't know. I think it, it depends on the organization. But for example, NPS is not very good at the touch point level. Uh, it's good on a brand level, but and, and maybe on a customer journey level, but not on the touch point level. So you need to understand like, the operational metric, the tactical metric, and then the strategical metric. And, and those must differ.